going on guys? Andrew Evers here inside the Panasonic house at South by Southwest. Panasonic has teamed up with the Parsons School of Design and we're about to check out some of the cool products that the students actually came up with. Let's go. I'm here with the team from Gobi. Go ahead and introduce yourself, guys. Uh, Courtney, Jane, Shinza, and Tim. All right, so Gobi is this product I have here on my wrist. What exactly is this? So Gobi is a social wellness controller. Um, you wear it throughout the day to better your social wellness. You better your social wellness by having more face-to-face -face interaction with people throughout your day. So give me an example of how this works. I know you guys have a little demo you can uh, show us to really yeah, help so us understand what's happening here. So your Gobi is activated now. We're gonna put our arms up, and then once they activate, we're gonna feel a haptic buzz. So we're all working together here. We all need to see that. This is not my area of expertise. All right, so let me ask you a question. So, so, so you're obviously you're meeting with your friends, uh -huh. you're having a good time, you're upping your wellness factor. How did you come up with this concept? So we all live in New York, and New York is really isolating. Nobody really wants to make eye contact with you. Nobody wants to start a conversation. So we were trying to figure out how to provide output for them to make them more comfortable interacting with strangers. Okay. How exactly did uh, Panasonic work with you on the development of the Gobi? So at Parsons, we do a lot of conceptualizing, and Panasonic was key in turning our concepts into a product and how to market it um, as a product. Now I'm here with Aki, the leader of open collaboration at Panasonic. And you've got your team with you. Who have you brought with you? Thanks, Andrew. Um, we have the UX designer, Kaho, Tom, chief engineer, and Takashi, doctor and engineer. Very nice. So tell us about who Parsons is and why Panasonic partnered with them. Well, Parsons is, is, of course, as you know, one of the most famous uh, design schools in the world. And we had a hackathon with them last year. And we had a very good experience around UX design and a very open-minded teamwork. Okay. So that's why we started partnering with them, really reaching out outside of our company and bringing in speed and talent and knowledge. That's, that's how we define open collaboration in our team. Yeah, and, and talking to the students, they obviously learned a lot from Panasonic, but I'm curious, what did Panasonic learn from this process? Well, yes, uh, we have a team of designers and engineers, but you know we're more siloed in the way we worked before, and we learned you know how teams should bring together their talents and uh, an open-minded teamwork. What's next in this process for them? Okay. We're targeting to bring these ideas to market around 2018, and we want to see you know how the buzz is. At, at South by Southwest, and we really hope that we want to bring this to the uh, market. All right, now I'm with Anu, the director of the Parsons Design Lab. Tell me what it was like working with Panasonic on this. Panasonic was an incredible partner. They were so open and really created an environment where our students were able to explore and be creative, but really you know, gave structure by letting a, giving insight into Panasonic's technology, the way in which they're growing, and it was really an incredible experience for Parsons. Now we are here with Kristen from Sleepwise. You've got your team here. Yes. Who are they? Um, this is Iris, this is Mikey, and this is Carson. All right, so in your hands, you've got Sleepwise. How'd you come up with this product? So what Sleepwise is, is it's a wearable uh, health wellness product for um, sleeping. What it does is it leverages the growing market for IoT and smart home appliances to deliver personalized sleeping environments for anyone who purchases the product. When you were joining this program, how did you guys come up with this specifically? What, how did you come to the decision to address this? Well, so we all come from very, very disciplines of design, but what we were working towards was solving a sub-health issue, and that sub-health issue was sleep wellness. You know, in this day and age, we are all really pressured to maximize the amount of time for working, for getting the most out of our day, and making sure that those hours that we're asleep is really critical to performance. So now talk to me about the process of working with Panasonic. So it's been really great working with Panasonic. I think we really appreciated getting a lot of the research data that they had. They told us some interesting things that we couldn't find. Good feedback is in terms of how to leverage what they can already manufacture. They're such a strong product company. So really our goal is to take our technology and design backgrounds and sort of say, well, how do we get to the future with you? Right? How do we take what you have already that makes you such a good company and move it forward? That was your look at Sleepwise and the results of the collaboration between Panasonic and Parsons. Look to see these products on the market soon.